All right, the standard speed plate will be shipped as seen, disassembled. You'll first want to put the wheel onto the threaded rod, nut facing out. You will slide the large fork end into the slots. Bring that all the way in. And latch the little hook into the slots provided in the wheel. You'll take your skinny fork in and slide it into those slots. Noticing there are various adjustments on here to get your center point in the center of your frame. Then you'll simply stick the pins in and flip it over and lock those in place. Your hanger tabs are going to be installed on each of the four corners here. You don't want to ensure that these bolts are facing in so you can screw the, uh, the nut from the inside. Your hangers will hang on the inside and always ensure your rubber is on the outside corner that will be contacting your frame. Just take your washer back on and tighten the nuts down. You'll repeat this process for all four corners. All right, your hanger tabs, all four of them are installed. You're gonna to wanna to install the shorter of the two. And I'm speaking shorter in this position here. You'll notice these are long, they hang out past. You will be provided an extra set of these if needed. We're talking about the four wear blocks on the corners of your speed plate. There will be four attached when you receive it and you also receive four extras. These can each be used twice as in once you get too much wear on one side, you can simply flip it around and use the other side of it. The final piece of the speed plate is your safety bar. You're gonna to wanna to clip this on opposite end of the threaded wheel, which is gonna be your heavy, heavy end. That just keeps this from dropping down in the hole. Once your speed plate is locked into position in the frame, you're gonna to wanna to remove this before cutting operation. This is used in cases where you want to go ahead and use your six shooter to cut your hole and then maybe the following day come back with just your speed plate and your lifting device which interfaces right inside it and that will be used to lift your casting from the road without using the six shooter.